Tom Bauer ridicules Meghan Markle as royal thought she could come me off and she failed. Meghan Markle has been called out for ghosting people by royal author Tom Bauer following the publication of his new book. Tom Bauer ridicules Meghan Markle as royal thought she could come me off and she failed. Meghan Markle has been called out for ghosting people by royal author Tom Bauer following the publication of his new book, We Use Your Sign Up to provide content in ways you've consented to and to improve our understanding of you. This may include adverts from us and third parties based on our understanding. You can unsubscribe at any time. More info. A real lady does not choose confrontation. The problem with woke people is they are offended by almost anything, lack a sense of humor, and have no qualms about telling you how your conversation hurts them. If M was so offended by Harry's friends why didn't she just talk with other guests? Why has she made herself the center of the universe? Who is she to decide what is appropriate party conversation or banter? Was this another tactic to separate Harry from his friends? Like everything M does she has no tact, no social skills, s and definitely no manners. As a guest of Harry, no one invited her. If she was so offended why didn't she just up and leave? What a woke joke she is. It certainly didn't bother her to call RF racist and thoughtless among other names. She sure doesn't worry about offending anyone else. Tom Bauer has recently claimed it was difficult to get in touch with sources close to Meghan Markle to hear the good side of her for his book, Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors. The author claimed that he was being cut off by Meghan. Speaking to ITV's Lorraine, Mr. Bauer claimed, I know when people are cutting me off. She didn't like the shooting? Don't go, no one was forcing her. We all know she does things her way. I mean she didn't have any problem getting on a plane back to the States dragging her puppy with her, or bleeding all those lies out to Oprah, did she? It was ridiculous how difficult it was to get to people who I genuinely wanted to hear the good side of her. She is a person who controls the narrative. She ghosts people like her father or the royal family when she doesn't like them. She's a very determined woman and she thought she could cut me off and she failed. In the book, Mr. Bauer claimed Prince Harry was branded F asterisk asterisk asteriskging nuts for dating Meghan by his Eden pals. Meghan had joined 16 of Harry's friends for a dinner on Friday followed by shooting on Saturday, Mr. Bauer claimed in his book, like other shooting weekends, Harry was looking forward to endless banter, jokes, and a lot of drinking. He had not anticipated Meghan's reaction. Their jokes, involving sexism, feminism, and transgender people, ricocheted around the living rooms and dining rooms. Without hesitation, Meghan challenged every guest whose conversation contravened her values, she lacked any sense of humor. Driving home after Sunday lunch, the texts pinged between the cars, OMG, what about her? Said one, Harry must be f asterisk 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 ing nuts. Australian morning show host David Campbell has come to the defense of the Duchess. Speaking on the Today Show Extra, Mr. Campbell said, Forgive for jumping on the Megan positivity train here but if you took me on my second date to a shooting party where everyone was just sexist and bratty. I don't think they look good. She doesn't have to put her beliefs aside. However then, instead of fighting with everyone at the party, she should just leave. I am positive they would not mind if she took off. Forever, I agree with other comments on here. She should have kept her mouth shut. These are Harry's friends and if he is happy to be in their company she should have left herself righteous, holier than thou attitude at home. A joke is a joke and will in most cases, offend somebody, but telling lies to the world about your husband's family is hardly the action of a saint either. This delusional couple cannot keep dictating what they want. The public does not want them here. Other members of the RF have taken on a heavier workload, whilst having to listen to Meghan lying and causing difficulties for the wider circle. In any other position this narcissist, and her devious mother, would be ostracized.
why offer invitations to them, it will only make the future more complicated for up-and-coming royals. They will be here as long as we read these articles. They are beginning to get super redundant how many charities can you fund and give awards, how many faux stories can you push, how many family members can you toss under the bus they are running out of material. Looks like divorce might be in order sue each other. Perhaps she was hoping Tom Bauer would just give up and not write the book. Then she's hoping someone won't read the book to Harry. But then again, Harry has supported her behavior towards his family and deserves whatever retribution comes his way. But he doesn't know that she was clearing out the house she shared with Corey, of anything that showered they were living together, frantically before Harry moved in. I think Harry thinks he had exclusive rights to her when they were dating. He probably does know at one point she was seeing three at once. Harry hadn't a clue, he just believed everything she said. Harry is a victim of his pride and his stupidity. If you don't like what people are saying and doing, you leave. I once excused myself from a party gracefully because people were smoking pot, I don't want to be around that so I left. I did not complain, I did not yell at them or call them out for doing illegal drugs. I simply left the party and all was well. This is how an adult handles a bad situation. Clearly, Megan is not an adult. I can't bear any news about these two elder abusers. They can't hide from what they did to the queen when her husband lay dying, they kicked her in the teeth, big time. Their treatment of Thomas Markle when he was in the hospital twice was evil too. They are a right royal pair of stinkers devoid of any compassion, they are nasty bottom feeders. Meghan Markle does not condone the killing of animals, but she does support laws that promote the killing of unborn babies. You have to be consistent, she is a bad person even if she wants to make up everything for her convenience, posing as a champion of pure rogue justice. Narcissists always separate the person they're with from their support groups. They want no opposition to their thinking so when they start to gaslight their newest conquest they have no one to fall back on to tell them that they are right and to encourage getting away from the narcissistic person or even to just have another point of view which is never allowed. It would appear that H was warned. His friends all warned him. It is thought they had inside information on her. Some of them had come across her previously. At first, they thought she was just someone he hired for fun. Were horrified to find out he was actually dating her. Prince William tried to warn him, Dodd and H is still complaining about it to the world on a public stage. Anyone who tried to warn him was double-crossed and got a knife in their back. I also believe that MI5 and MI6 also investigated her, Dodd and her friends were all shut down to protect her notorious past. They couldn't do anything, H hardly knew her, he had tried to get rid of her Dashi Gate crashed in Skip's wedding and got her claws into him again. It is also thought she kept threatening to call the royals racist if she wasn't given everything she wanted every step of the way, finally they stopped giving in, and she went on the warpath. She is thankfully losing the war. It will all end in tears. She clearly doesn't fit into his world, nor is he into hers. She's made an effort because he's a prince with money and that suited her. He's made an effort because he genuinely loves her and is also grateful that she agreed to marry him when no one else would. What she wants is not what he wants. It's painfully written all over his face whenever we see him. He wanted the quiet life, she wants the spotlight. It will end. Meghan Markle the game is up, it was only a matter of time before her bullying ways and ghosting people, her lies, perjury, and all of Tom Bauer's allegations started the beginning of the end for her rise to fame. Prince Harry looks fed up with the back teeth with this constant fawning by Markle which is so false. The money pit will dry up completely when Netflix, Spotify, and the other brands finally realize that the Meghan Markle Sussex brand is toxic. Then Harry will have the sense to return with his kids to the UK and leave Markle in law-law land.